Hey everybody and a warm welcome back to the Whiskey Cove and on today's episode we look at the whiskies to keep an eye out for in the month of September. You know the drill, run the video. Okay then folks, let's get into this video shall we? And you might want to stick around to the end because we have some absolute hitters on this list and some awesome honourable mentions. So with that being said, let's get into it. So first up we're going to look at uh, another edition from the Barrel uh, Distillery here and that is Barrel Vantage. This is a cask strength edition. This is a blend of straight bourbon whiskies finished in Mizunara French and toasted American oak. What is Mizunara? So I went on the internet. I knew a little bit about it already. I knew that it came from Japan. I knew there was a little bit of a, like a rare oak. So I did some research and this is what I pulled from the internet here. Mizunara is a native Japanese oak. It's the world's most flavorful oak. Unlike white oak, Mizunara's branches and the base are slimmer and twisted, reflecting a more complex cellular structure with fewer long straight plank fits for barrels. The wood itself is more porous and waterlogged and requires at least three years of drying time before the slats can be assembled into a cask. So Mizunara just translates into water oak. So as you can hear from that explanation, it's quite a rare oak to get hold of, it, uh, mainly because uh, there's not that many of them growing in Japan or compared to Kentucky, I should say, or compared to the US is a version of their white oak. But also as well, it takes three years to dry them out so they can actually make a barrel. So there's not so much of it going around. So it's a bit of a rare oak, but this is a blend of uh, French oak, toasted American oak and Mizunara. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how these three oaks combine and make this whiskey. Uh, this is 57.22%. This comes in a cast strength. If we look at the labels here, traditional barrel label for the frontier. And at the back, we have a little bit of an explanation here, or a little bit of a blurb. Vantage is a bourbon dedicated to the arts of barrel selection and blending. It's a blend of straight bourbons finished in three distinct types of virgin oak that highlights toasted notes and the elegance of the finished barrels. It's a bottle at cast strength so you can experience its true flavor. This is probably going to, ho hopefully this will fall around the $100 marks. If I'm completely honest, I haven't really bought many barrel products, but maybe this could be the first one. So moving on to bottle number two, and this is a big one. It's that kind of time of year when you start seeing some of these lot lottery bottles come out. Uh, a lot of these stores kind of hold them back for like the end of the year stuff, the raffles, Christmas stuff and so on. But traditionally, some of these bottles are supposed to come out now. First up, this is the Four Roses Barrel Strength Small Batch 2022 release. Yes, it is that time of year. And I believe it depends when you are watching this video, but you might actually be able to go on to the Four Roses website and join their lottery. Uh, they do a lottery system every year where they take some of the bottles and lottery them out. You do have to go to Kentucky to pick up the bottle. Nevertheless, you're still in with the chance. Let's have a look at the label here. Traditional uh, barrel, uh, traditional barrel strength of the 22 small batch edition. It kind of looks like the others. Every year they kind of all look the same. Uh, the only difference is the ABV on the front and then obviously uh, the blurb on the back might be a little bit different. A distinct complex balance. This limited edition releases the perfect marriage of rich flavor and the smooth mellow finish you expect from Four Roses a master distiller Brent Elliott. The aromas of brown sugar, dark cherries, seasoned oak welcome you to the warm flavors of apricot and barrel tones melt into a delicate layer of creamy vanilla, ripe berries and light cinnamon for a distinct flavor you'd want to share. Usually they come at about 150 to 250 for MSRP but like I said you're probably going to see them in lotteries. Um, this is a very difficult bottle to get a hold of. This says, judging by the label, there are 10,890. I think that's a six. So it's very limited release and they usually just get snapped up straight away. So if you're lucky enough to get one of these bottles, then you should pick it up if you see it and you should drink it straight away because it's a fantastic addition. Next up on the list, we have Knob Creek Kentucky Rye Whiskey. This is an age seven year rye, obviously coming out from the Jim Bean Distillery down in Clermont, Kentucky. And if we took a, take a look at the label here, we see the bottom black label, crafted for quality and full flavor, 100 proof. It does not say bottled in bond, but it is a 100 proof, 50% ABV, 100 proof, 50% alcohol by volume. Uh, if we look at the top of the label here, the side one, it says Knob Creek Small Batch Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Age seven years, crafted for quality, full flavor, Clermont, Kentucky. Boom. That's all I say about this Knob Creek. Hopefully, it's not going to be too much expensive. Hopefully, around the $50 mark. I'll definitely pick this bad boy up and do a review of it. Looking forward to seeing uh, this Knob Creek Rye hit the shelves. 
Next up, uh, we've I feel like we've been waiting for this whiskey all year. Like last year, we couldn't get enough of these Maker's Mark limited releases. But for whatever reason, they've held them off until later on in the year. And judging by some of the tasting notes, this will probably explain why, because it might be more suited to kind of like those colder or more autumn months. So if we take a look at the label here, this is the Maker's Mark Wood Finishing Series. 2022 limited release BRT-01. I think the names are after kind of like the stave profiles that they use. They kind of name them after the stave. Um, so the tasting notes on this one, deep caramelized barrel notes accented with some toastiness and a warm finish. Again, kind of sounds like a perfect whiskey sitting around a campfire, a little chilly outside. So maybe that's why they've held this back. This is 110.6 proof or 55. 5.3% alcohol by volume. The stave details are 10 virgin toasted American oak staves. So they just want full toasted American oak staves on this one. If we take a look at the back here, it says our wood finishing series is a chance to push the flavor boundaries on our classic bourbon in a truly pioneering way. For our 2022 releases, we've created expressions inspired by our unique history of barrel rotation. Hand rotation 200,000 barrels a year is key to both our DNA and our consi constant whiskey or consistent whiskey. BRT01 tells a story of the first three years of the extraction at the top of the warehouse. Wix Expressions large temperatures swings. You'll get more barrel extractiveness or extractive extractives with caramel and a hint of toastiness. BRT02, so it looks like they're gonna be bringing these out pretty close by to one another. BRT02 is all about the final years of reaction at the bottom where it is cooler year round. You'll find darker, heavier characteristics along with some fruit and chocolate. Together you will get two exceptional sips boast unmistakably makers enjoy so lately i've become a little bit more of a fanboy of makers i have all the releases kind of like the special releases that they do of this series uh i need to start cracking them because i haven't because i wanted to kind of wait until these come out and do kind of like a like a bourbon battle but we'll see about this one hopefully this will come in at around about 60 to 70 dollars and hopefully that msrp price hasn't gone up and around 55.3 percent i think again really good value for money and with makers you know you're getting really good quality so I'm moving on to the next whiskey, and this is maybe one you might not have heard before, but let's talk about it anyway, because this one is super unique. And this is Seelbach's, this is Seelbach's, I hope I'm saying that right, Seelbach's or Seelbach's straight bourbon whiskey finished in triple sec liqueur and sparkling wine barrels. So if you take a look at the label here, the label on the left kind of looks like it's a pot still is what they're using. It says private reserve, bottle number, there's a batch number as well. Alcohol is 56% alcohol or 112 proof 750 milliliter bottle with this one distilled aged in bardstown kentucky finished and bottled by manufest distilling in jackson florida so i guess they finish it in triple sec and they finish it in all those sparkling wine barrels in florida let's read the description here batch three of sealback's private reserve pays tribute to the cocktail which our name draws inspiration from the cocktail is a mix of Kentucky bourbon, triple sec, bitters, and topped with champagne. Batch three starts with a blend of 84% four year and nine month, and 16% 15 year Kentucky bourbon. This blend is finished independently of triple sec and champagne barrels. The triple sec lends its incredible orange peel and bacon spice on the nose. The Pinot Mineur champagne barrels add depth and dried fruit notes on the palate. Both barrels amplify the fruit and spicy profile of Kentucky bourbon based blends. I don't know if these guy folks distill their own stuff. If they are sourcing, it says distilled and aged in Bardstown. I assume that they're also probably sourcing from Bardstown, as a lot of places will be here soon as they recently bought into this new expansion project here. But nevertheless, Bardstown do some fantastic whiskies. And if I have the ability to pick up this bottle, I'm definitely going to. Obviously, that depends on the price, uh, but, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see with this one. Now our seal box straight bourbon whiskey finished in triple sec and sparkling wine barrels. Moving on to the next whiskey, and again, this is a really big hitter. That time of year, lotteries, big whiskey balls. Let's go into this. This is, of course, Old Forester Birthday Bourbon. Uh, another unicorn to add to this list. Uh, again, like I said, it's a more of a lottery ball, but it, is a, it does officially come out this month, so you should be able to find it as well. So Old Forester Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Birthday Barrel. We'll take a look at the label here. This is barreled on 2011, bottled, obviously, this year, 2022. Old Forester Distilling Company at Louisville in Kentucky. This is a 48% alcohol or 96 proof. So it's not too high of uh, an ABV or uh, alcohol percentage with this one. This is more kind of like about the age and just 
the fantastic uh, Old Forester whiskey profile here. Also, much like the Four Roses ones, I believe they do lotteries of these, so you might, depending again, if you're when you're watching this, you might want to go onto the website and have a little look there and see if you can get entered into one of those lotteries. So you might have an opportunity to go down to Kentucky and buy this bottle. If we take a look at the back of the label here, it says, this whiskey is distilled by us only. We are responsible for its richness and fine quality. Its elegant flavor is solely due to the original fineness developed with care. This is there is nothing better in the market. That is quite a statement. But if you ever have the um, ability to try this whiskey, then that kind of backs it up to a degree here. And also, Old Forester also put out the King of Kentucky around this time, but we'll talk a little bit more about that after. So again, if you ever see this, you've got to pick it up. I think MSRP is, oh, I don't quite know on this one. I think it's like $200, $300. I guess it just depends wherever you buy it from. I think um, uh, secondary just goes crazy over $1,000 or something. And then lastly, on this list, before we get to the honorable mentions and the one I'm most looking forward to, even though we've had some absolute hitters on this list, this one is going to be another new addition to the Russell series. I don't know if this is something they're going to be doing every year, or if this maybe is just a special release, kind of like the Russell's Reserve 13 that they've been doing. And this is Russell's Reserve Single Rick House. So it looks like what they'll be doing with this one, uh, they said, they, they, I guess there's a warehouse, the Camp Nelson Sea Warehouse, and there's also floors three and four. I guess they feel like this area of the warehouse is kind of where they get a lot of good honey barrels and maybe a little bit of advice for folks out there if you have any of the russell single barrel picks maybe look on those see if you can find any with um c uh, or floor uh, c with floor three and four because that's essentially what you're getting with this ball it's very specific it's very specific to that rickhouse and those floors it's coming in at 112.4 proof or 56.2 percent alcohol by volume the single barrel products are 55 percent so that's right in line with each other and if we look at the labels and look at the back label here it says a bourbon's aging environment can have as much impact on its character as raw ingredients age and even the barrel each limited single rick house release is crafted from a small batch of hand selected casks from a solid a solitary warehouse or solitary storehouse celebrating the unsung contributions of rick house structures elevation and material on flavor profile so i picked up the russell reserve 13 for about 80 bucks i'm hoping this is going to be the same so that is the russell's reserve uh, camp nelson c Hopefully, you, can, you folks can find that out there. Okay, then, folks, let's get into these honorable mentions here. So, first up, and we've already mentioned that is that is King of Kentucky. This year is 63.3, 65.3% .3, uh, ABV or 130.6 proof. This is 79% corn, 11% rye, or 10% malted barley. MSRP on this guy is all over the place. Uh, my suggestion would be go out in a restaurant to try it. I feel like this is a product that everybody should try. Um, it, it does get a little bit expensive there, but I definitely think it's worth maybe like a birthday pour or something like that uh, next up on the list is Barstown Discovery Series 9 uh, this one is 56.25% ABV or 112.5 proof this blend adds in Kentucky whiskey or Kentucky bourbon 17 year Tennessee whiskey and a touch of sweetness from Canadian whiskey that tells me that the Kentucky whiskey is probably from Bardstown the Tennessee is Dickel and then the Canadian is Alberta a lot of folks say that uh, when they started adding Dickel into the Discovery Series it kind of lost its way a little bit but we'll have to try this one and see how this goes next up on the list is the Michter's US toasted barrel finish 45% 45.7% uh, alcohol by volume or 91.4 proof 79% corn 11% rye and 10% malted barley uh, this starts as the US the Michter's US bourbon that is then aged in barrels made of 18 month air dried wood and toasted instead of charred kind of similar um, whiskey to Light Craig toasted or Old Forest in 1910 and then lastly on this list here, a bit of a hitter, and some of you might have seen this come out already. This is a Willet or the Willet Wheat Bourbon, 54% ABV or 108 proof. This is eight years old with an MSRP of $230. I'm a big wheat fan and I like a Willet products more the rise. Um, so if I have the opportunity, even at $230, I think I'm going to pick this up. And also the ball just looks fantastic as well. So with that being said, folks, that was all the whiskeys you should look for in the month of September. Uh, sometimes these might take a little bit longer to come out so that might roll in a little in october maybe even november if the distilleries hold it back so with that being said thank you for watching today's video hit that uh, like button if you've enjoyed what we were doing or if you enjoyed what we've done uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we continue to make this community grow as we drink through the world's whiskeys one glass at a time until next time folks cheers